hey, welcome to the Mars Kingdom. Uh, you know, here we go over, you know, financial freedom, you know, tips, you know, strategies. We cover different topics, you know, mainly real estate, but, you know, we try to touch on things that help us get to where we're going. And on this episode, you know, it's 2020 recap, rolling into 2021. And what are you doing or plan on doing for 21 to set you up for 2022? So I'm your host, Kevin Osain. Mike Mortica. Well, and uh, tomorrow's kingdom. We'll be right back. So, tip of the week. Tip of the week is don't let what you didn't do in 2020 discourage you for doing what you can do in 2021. Mm. So, what that means is Hey, just because you didn't knock out all your goals, you just because you didn't hit your targets, you didn't get your credit right in 2020, don't let that be like, oh, I ain't do it last year, so I'm not going to do it this year. I'm not going to do it the next year. So, hey, always remember every time there's a new day, there's still a new way to better yourself and progress and move on. And, hey, remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So, yeah, man, that, that was a man. That was a really good, good tip because, man, I can't tell you how many uh, New Year's resolutions I had like that, and thinking about what I did the year before, and and I was like, man, I'm not gonna do this. Like, man, I ain't fixed my credit, and it's, you know, credit is usually the the biggest one of the biggest ones, you know. I was yeah. like, like, man, I ain't do that. So you know, scratch. Let let me focus on something else. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. most definitely because it's. I mean, we all done. I mean, you, it's like you didn't hit your target in last year. So you're like, ah, oh, man, I ain't going to try to go for it. I already know how last year went, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, yeah. And it's like, it's discouraging, you know? People, like, don't invest in certain things because they say, oh, well, I ain't invested in it back then, so I'm not going to do it now. But like, no, nah, it don't work like that, you know what I mean? You, you got to get into it at some point in time. So why you keep hesitating? Yeah, and then... um you know, just missing opportunities and stuff like that. It's just like, you know, well, well, I missed it. So that that boat's already sailed. It's like, nah, man, like going to 2021 fresh, you know, know, we we all know 2020 was crazy. You know, you know, recap, uh, recap, just a hot mess, (laughs) you know, too much to cover. (laughs) So just going to 2021, fresh new look, trying to do things to set you up, you know, uh, don't forget the goals that you didn't accomplish doesn't mean that you can't accomplish them now. And also, oh, yeah. you know, and also, man, like, don't uh, don't wait for January 1 to say, hey, now I'm going to get it. You know, cheers, you know, yeah. right, let's, see, let's lose weight, <laughs> you know? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah. That's yeah, what... and I, I used to do that too, man. Like I used to like, okay, cool. I'll, I'll have my New Year's set like around like I have my New Year's goals or whatever you want to call it set for like December 20th. And I'm like, all right, cool. That give me 10 days to mess around, joke around and all this. Two weeks, I could just do whatever. And then boom, January 1st, I'm on it. Like, nah, we got to like kind of like baby step ourselves into it. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, just... I mean, if you listen it now and you got goals that you didn't accomplish, yo, just keep just keep it going. Like you said, you know, baby, keep keep baby stepping it. Keep and just every little bit helps. Don't wait till January one to say you know tackle it again, because obviously, you know, history speaks for itself. How many people we know actually did their New Year's resolution and actually accomplished it? You know, so yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, be honest, I don't even keep up with people resolutions. Oh hell no! You know what I mean? Somebody tell me, oh uh, hey, Jay, I'm gonna do this, that, that. I'm like, okay. I mean, I'm not gonna ask him about it in June. Like, hey, how that? Really? <laughs> Nobody really <laughs> keep up with it. It's just yourself. You feel bad about it because you know, because you like, I was so determined back in January. That's why you you ever notice gym membership is mm. through the roof. Like December, January, and February, like that's why people that usually go to the gym, they're like, oh, they hate the New Year's because that when the gym's all packed and stuff like that. Yeah. Start to slow up in March, April, you know, start to thin out. 
So and that, that's another thing, right? So the, the actual people that's out there going after their goals every single day are there putting in the work and the gyms, right? Just every single day. There is no January 1 for them. Every day is January 1, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you, if, if we could, like, adopt that mindset, that, that mentality, like, yo, every day is New Year's resolutions. Every day is, yo, I'm going to get these goals. I'm starting today, you know? Yeah, you know, just, just keep going. Let's keep going. So whatever goals you have in play, just, you know, what today is 26, 27, just keep it going. Keep it rolling, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah most definitely. I know my problem back in before was I was setting my goals too high. I mean, I was setting two goals. Like, you know, it, it was it was achievable goals, but at the same time, it was just like, oh, okay, I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do that. And if you set the bar too high, once you, like, you miss one of them, you're going to like, okay, well, I missed this. Ain't no need for me to do that. Ain't no need for me to do this one, that one. You kind of like to forget about it all around, you know. It's kind of like the um, the book we read, like Many Habits, the one we did a video about, mm-hmm. right? So, you know, with a mini, it's like basically to make yourself many habits, you know, to try to create small goals, and the more you do it, you know, you're gonna eventually build on it rather decrease on it. I think, know, that, I think that book is is so powerful now, coming up into this. You know, even if you do have a uh, New Year's resolution, I think that book alone will be super helpful for people that start with the goals. You know, it's like mini habits. Oh yeah, most definitely. So like, well, you know, basically, like you said, like it's just mini habits. It's just like mini habits, mini goals, mini action, mini steps. You know, so instead yeah. of saying you won't lose, you won't have a six pack abs for the summer. This video is like, hey man, you know, I'm gonna do five sit ups a day or something like that. You know, just yeah, yeah, you know. Just Work your way until you get it, you know. Yeah, and then every, you know, and then like with them things you mentioned, like the ad for the summer. A lot of people, a lot of people just only create goals just to hit it by the summer, you know. Like that right there was a, that right there was a mistake anyway. You know, what yeah, I mean, you exactly. just can't be saying it's like, oh, I'm gonna just do this for. So you have a beach body, so you're like wild out in Cancun, so you want to be the first one out there without your mask, like, yeah, Corona free and all this, uh, like drinking the Corona. Like, nah, it don't work like that, man. Try to prepare for like 2022, you know? So with 20, all right, you know, so obviously we know how 2020 was and, yeah. you know, there was a lot of opportunities, you know, true enough, you know, a lot of bad stuff happened to a lot of good people, but there was yeah. a lot of opportunities, you know, for, for us on the sidelines just watching these things happen. You know, don't let 21 come by and you watch these things happen again, right? Just, just like mm-hmm. stocks and stuff, there's always going to be a next play. Don't see a stock going up and be like, ah, oh, man, I missed it. You know, well, that's it. Let me close the laptop, <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, yeah. There's always a next stock. There's always a next opportunity. There's always a next thing. So what you can do now is if you did miss something, right? If you didn't stocks, goals, whatever, right? If you miss something, let 21 be the year that you don't miss it, you know? Prepare, yeah, yeah, yeah. prepare to take some action and jump in, you know? At least, you know, I mean, smart, you know, do it financially sound, you know, be smart about it, do your research, but be prepared mm-hmm. to take action when that opportunity does come. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Right? And um, it's so you gotta think about it. It's so many companies out here who who are public where you can invest in their stock. It's it's amazing how many stocks there are. Like it's it's a crazy amount. You know what I mean? That's why I I didn't get into the Tesla when they did the split because I was like it was like it, it was already it was a lot anyway. You know I'm like. I'm not going to really get a stock to where I could only get like one or two shares of it. I mean, it's not really going to, I mean, yeah, it probably will work out in the long run. I mean, Tesla hit 2000, you know what I mean? Like you got it like around like 200. Okay, cool. But you know, it was like many other stocks available also to where I could get a lot more shares that could reach. And then plus I'm like, was going for more dividend stocks also. So, Mm -hmm. I mean, just, yeah, like you said, like, hey, just because you missed out on it, don't watch the stock keep rising, rising. And like, oh, I'm just not going to invest at all. Like, no, nah, still shop around, look around, 
There's plenty of stocks. If you're not part of the Tesla, okay. You know what I mean? There's going to be yeah. another Tesla. It's all right. Another Google. Yeah, it's, it's always another something. It's always all right. If you missed it, man, it's something else, you know. And uh, so, like, Tomorrow's Kingdom, right, you know, it's about financial freedom. Again, you guys more involved with, you know, putting your money where it needs to be instead of, you know, what we've been doing with it as time and time again can tell our story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in 2021 now, I think, wait, let me rephrase that. 2020 should have woke everybody up to like, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Just like, yo, how the world can flip upside down so fast. How oh, so yeah, most definitely. Out of a job, can lose so much money on stocks, can lose so much on real estate. Like, if you had a home and now you lose your job and now your, your mortgage is due, not being prepared, right? So mm -hmm. now that we kind of like leveling out, quote unquote, right? Uh, I suggest everybody that listens to this just to at least, at least start thinking about worst case scenario and how to prepare for it and start putting your money, not just in savings. It's good to have a little cushion, but to start thinking about, hey, maybe, maybe paying down, maybe make, paying down some debt, you know, forget the abs, the summer abs, maybe pay down some debt, fix your credit score, pick up a, yeah. a you know, a, a duplex, right? Don't buy a house. A house is a liability. You know, all these things we should know. You know, I don't know what you think about that, you know. Oh, yeah, no, most definitely. Yeah, I definitely agree with you because the 2020 definitely woke people up. It definitely, I mean, it's, it woke people up to where, like, like you said, you need to be more financially sound, more financially responsible, like, yeah, making your money work for you, you know what I mean? Because it's cool to have your money in the savings and all that, but at the same time, what is your money actually doing? I mean, it's not gaining that much interest to where you can retire off of. Mm -hmm. Having five thousand in your bank account ain't going to. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not a solid savings plan. You know what I mean? I mean, try to like you said, try to use that. Try to get your credit or try to pay down some debt. I mean, try to pay down the pay down the principal on your mortgage. You know what I mean? Just so you can have more equity. So when you can do like a HELOC and try to get you another duplex, triplex, something that work could bring you in because at the end of the day, I mean, people still people still need a place to live. I mean, it, it's still like realtors, I mean, people who own real estate wasn't really hurting that much. I mean, the properties didn't drop down in value like that because of the pandemic, you know, people still need a place to live. People still need a rent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A lot of people lost jobs, but there's a lot of people who didn't lose jobs, you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, you got to buy more um, assets rather than liabilities, you know what I mean? So hopefully and, people learn, you know. And if, you, and if you're not ready to buy assets yet, then make 21 the prep, the prep phase, the prep stage, right? Make all your goals, all your resolutions, whatever, whatever you need to do to, to get going. Make that year the year you are ready to take action in 2022, right? Meaning... Uh -huh. Like you said, like fix your credit, right? See where you at. Do a credit check. Check check yourself out. See where you at. Where do you stand, right? In the eyes yeah. of the credit viewers, right? So if you had a 650, all right, maybe take three, four, six months out of the year, get it up to a 750. There's so many, there's so yeah. much different ways you can do that. You know, we we try and we teach you guys how to do that also on our YouTube channel and, and all the other platforms. And then you know, make the other half, if your credit is decent, maybe start learning about real estate in your country, in any country, there's opportunities, wherever you are, yeah. you know, don't just think like, oh, well, you know, I'm listening outside of the U.S., so that's it, you know, and there's deals to be done everywhere, you know. Oh, yeah, most definitely, yeah. always going to be access, no matter where you go, like, yeah. Anything you know, and you don't really need much money to invest in assets. Like for example, you could look into um, collecting cars. You know, if it's like uh, Pokemon cars, sports cars, or something like that, soccer cars, baseball cars. You could do something like that. You know, you don't need a lot of money to buy one car. You know, to buy one car, slowly starts 
collected them because they're gonna they're gonna go be worth more later down the road. You know, start with small investments like that. Just try to find your niche or what you like, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. just try to target on that because no matter what you do, if it's if you like to run, if you like to swim, whatever you like to do, there's gonna be a community in there that want to buy old items or memorabilia or something like that for that sport or for that hobby or for that whatever, you know? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know? I mean, I can't stress enough how, you know, I said it once, but, you know, in this, in this episode, but that feeling that everybody had in 2020, you see, that's the thing about it. That's the thing about it, you know. Everybody's getting back to the comfy zone, right? Happy holidays, yeah, yeah. happy holidays, da, 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 and no years. You know, I don't know what the wrong you say. You don't know happy holidays, happy holidays, happy. Oh, 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 right. oh, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, man, I invest in real estate, man. I'm a music singer. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, okay. so everybody's getting comfy. You know, everybody's yeah. getting to this comfy stage, this laid back stage, like, like this, like this thing is just left. Like the economy is, everything's all cool, and they're giving up promotions left and right or something. You know, like people need to hold on to that 2020 feeling, that old uh, feeling, that like, yo, what's next? Like, yo, it was all, it was riots, it was Corona, it was this. I mean, it was that. It was the the Dow Jones, went, you know, went down crazy. I mean, it was all so much different things and had so much people on edge in all categories of finance, you know, all over the world, doesn't matter where you was at, you know, you people freaking out. Yeah. You, you need to hold on to that. Hold on to that feeling, right? Let that, let that feeling fuel your ambition and your goals for 2021, you know? May it be credit, may it be real estate, stocks, buying cars, investing, because it does get hard. It does have a lot of distractions right now, holidays, New Year's, one of the biggest distractions. And it's so hard to yeah. keep focused on. Yeah, that's so hard. Yeah, myself, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't special. Yeah. I say I ain't special, but man, it's hard. It's hard staying focused during holiday times and stuff. You know? oh, um, yeah, it's, this is definitely hard because everybody everybody got to sell, you know what I mean? Everybody got a promotion. Everybody yeah. got to deal, you know? It's hard to stay focused, you know? Um, shoot, uh, even this year, you know, me and the family, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't do the traditional Christmas, you know? It wasn't no tree up. It wasn't no presents or not like that, you know, because um, like, and we didn't really give out gifts like that to the family and stuff like that because I'm like, hey, would you rather want me to give you a gift one day out the year, or would you rather want me to help you out when you actually need it? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And and if 2020 showed you anything, it showed you like, hey. You gotta make sure you have something when you actually need it, you know. Or, I mean, it was just so. It was just. It was. It was a lot that happened. It was a lot that happened. We both know riots, police shootings. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. War. I mean, it was. It was a lot that went down around the world. Um, a lot of deaths, a lot of killings, a lot of robbery. Um, but if you manage to make it out of 2020, you know, it definitely. It definitely should have woke you up to a point to where you said, "Okay, hey, I know tomorrow, not promise. I know my family going to need more from me, so let me set them up. So even when I'm gone, you know they they good. They should be good because if you was a, you, you should ask yourself this question: like, hey, if I was to die today, what's going to happen to them? What's going to happen to your family? What's going to happen to your loved ones?" And if oh, you, man, I'm so big moment, on that, bro. Yeah, and, until that moment, you can say like, "Shoot, if I die right now, they cool." Then that means you still got more work to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'll cool tell you right now, like my people, my people ain't gonna be cool right now if I die. So, 
still got to get up on it, bro. Still got to keep pushing. You know, man, man, I'm glad you said that. You know what I mean? I, I'm super, super big on that, man. Yeah. Death. Like, yo, you being the man of the house. If you a single mom, well, hey, you know what? Now you the man of the house, right? I mean, it's your responsibility. It's your job, you know, to not just take care of them in the here and now, but to take care of them in the then and after, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, and that's some things that we don't talk about. You know, it's like always taboo to talk about death talk about this, it's not a sexy topic, you know, nobody wants to think about it because most people are not prepared, like you said, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's that's a big one. I mean, if if 2020, like you said, scared you, right, to be like, hey, you know, you're reading the stories, you know, families losing everybody and all kind of stuff, and you was like, yo, man, if, if, if I was gone, what would happen to my family? And if that was like running through your head, then you need to make this next year like work. You need to be on it. Yo, pick up a life insurance policy. Might be a little bit expensive now, but it, it'll probably be worth it, right? Do something, right? Figure out your finances to afford a life insurance policy. Figure out your credit. Figure out your assets. Figure out your net worth, which a lot of yeah. people don't know. You know, you know how much shoes you got in the goddamn closet. You know how much you know, clothes and you know how much your car is or whatever, but you don't know how much your net worth is, right? Or what is yeah. net worth, right? They just think it's like how much this is cost or something, right? You got work to do. If you had that scared feeling, if you have kids, especially, if you have kids, especially, you need to look at them and be like, yo, if I was gone today, what the hell will happen to them, you know? Yeah. That, that should, every day, should, you should just wake up and tell yourself that, just, just to keep you you know, forget motivation to keep you driven, you know? Yeah, man. Most definitely. It shouldn't be like not a single day go by to where you didn't do anything, you know? It's harder not to do nothing than it is to do something. Because you got to kind of like talk yourself out of not doing it. <laughs> because sometimes you're just like, you know, you'll have something to do, you're like, ah. Well, nah, I don't know. Maybe, and then you gotta try to plan on when you could do it, rather like just doing it. You know, I mean, if you want to just watch like a thirty-minute clip of something that might help you, like work towards becoming financial free, or if it's something like, okay, let me look at these little tips to look for when buying real estate, or let me check out this little company that's potentially going that IPO becoming public, or let me just go ahead and just call this bank up to see how I get my interest lowered. Or let me just go ahead and there's so many things you could do that literally take minutes mm. for you to do it. But at the end of the day, I mean, a lot of people rather be doing what they're doing because they don't have to worry about. It. Man, a lot of people just right yeah, here. a lot of people just want to be goddamn comfy. Yeah, you know? be comfortable. You know what I mean? And too much. And, yeah, and the thing is, yeah, it's it's okay to be comfortable, but at the same time, it's not okay to not do nothing. I mean, you could be comfortable and still and still do things. You could be comfortable and still all you're doing is just like you call your bank and just ask them like, hey, can I get my interest rate lowered? I mean, what's what are they gonna say? No. I mean, if they say you know, just go back to what you was doing. I mean, all you do is just give it a try. You know, just hit the call them up. Just like, hey, you know, can I get a credit card increase? Or like, just go to freecreditkarma.com or something like that. Just check your credit. Just see like, oh, okay. Look at your credit history. Just see like, okay, well, I got this old Sprint bill that's linger over my credit I didn't know about. Let me just go ahead and try to pay this $300 off so I can work yeah, on my credit. You know? That's some things that, you know, you know, that you know, I just I would just disagree on just a little bit. It's just the comfy part because, you know, I, I think if if you're not in a position of where you can be comfy, like you said, like if I was gone today, you know, they cool. Like if you had like a life insurance policy set up and you had things in motion, 
you know, that way, you know, they was covered. Like, your worst case scenario is, man, you're gone, but you know what? Hey, they're good, you know? Cool. Like, if you're not even there, yeah. Like, yeah, I know a lot of people don't have life insurance policy. Hey, I don't even have one myself. I was supposed to get one set up this year, but COVID-19, blah, locked down. So I'll have that yeah. next year. You know? So I'll definitely have that next year just because of that. That's a number one. That's like a priority. One of my number one. I have many number ones, but that's a number one. But uh, I would say if you don't even have that going right now and you're capable of setting that up right now, then you don't need to be comfy. You know, you 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 come mm -hmm. you comfy for all the wrong reasons because in this day and age, anything can happen. I mean, you've seen the news, you know what I mean? That would be at least the one thing I would say, because okay, financial freedom is cool. We push it, you know, Mike push it a lot, you know, uh, myself as well. But not everybody, but financial freedom is, you know, on a case by case, you know, and not everybody's gonna go after the same thing, right? But yeah, yeah, yeah. a scenario though. A worst case scenario everybody should have is at least a life insurance policy. I would, I would. Oh say. yeah, you know. And and that's the thing about it. I'm saying like you could go after life insurance and still be comfortable. It's like one of the things. Oh, like, oh okay. Like, yeah, I mean, like the the things that we, the things that I try to get people to understand is like, hey man, it's like. It don't take time setting it up. Just set it up and then just knock it like knock it out real quick. Like, all right, cool. Well, okay, you gotta make an appointment. All right, cool. You gotta get some blood work done or whatever the case may be. Like, just knock it out. Just go, boom, get it done, get your life insurance, boom. Now you're cool. You already got your premium set up. How much you gonna pay monthly, or if you're gonna pay like just a one-time fee of the year and then let it roll over because yeah, I have life insurance, but it's not a lot. I think it's like twenty-five thousand. Yeah, you know what, I mean? what we got ain't nothing. It, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's like, okay, cool. Let me just try to sell up some uh, I, a higher premium. You know what I mean? It will cost a little bit more money. But at the same time, is if you're living for yourself to be rich, you're living for the wrong reason. You know, it, it's not about it's not about you have to you have to start thinking about your last name, you know, and uh and that's something that we talk about also, you know, it's not about us, you know, yeah, yeah, we will, we will get there, we will become making money and all that, you know, just living a rich and famous life, I guess, whatever you want to call it, but at the same time, it's more about the security for the people who have our last name, you know, so. Yeah, because, yeah, you know, okay, so I, I get you on the company shit now, because, you know, yeah. not everybody is going after what you know, myself or you or, or many others are, but just having, but just doing the life insurance thing and then just going back to your regular day is cool because yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, and then you're good, you know? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, be comfortable. I'm like, yeah, I don't want you like, oh, no, I got to do this because no matter how much stuff, no matter how much stuff you do at the end of the day, it's still never going to be enough. It's you're always going to be more. You, you always can do more. And then if you keep thinking like that, you're not going to do the little stuff that you can do. You know what I mean? Just like, hey, still live your life by the same time. Hey, hey, like, hey, man, before you go out, before you go out to the club, man, just call up Bank of America right quick. Or, I mean, at the same time, you're still going to do what you're planning on doing. I mean, either somebody going to tell you yes and you'll have a better time because you got some good news or somebody going to tell you no. And you still have a good time, and then just mm -hmm. try again, like in a couple months. You know what I mean? It's like mm -hmm. it's not that hard. You know that's why I'm starting to. That what 2020 taught me. Like, yeah, you know what? Why? Like, why am I afraid of a no? You know what I mean? Like, like what you mentioned before. Like, oh, you'll go and ask 20 girls for their phone number. You know what I mean? But at the same time, ain't somebody gonna tell you yes? Yeah. So sometimes. Sometimes you need to ask a little bit more than 20. You get 20 no's. No, hey, <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, if you had your credit right, you know, I mean, you don't have to ask. Ooh, I know, right? Just wear that 800 t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? If you, if you got the right, if you flaw, if you flaw in the right liabilities around somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know yeah, how much this like, costs me? <laughs> yeah, 
Because, like, yeah, you can be comfortable and still just do what you have to do. Like, right now, we're doing a podcast. How comfortable is that chair that you're sitting on? Super. Super comfortable, right? <laughs> so you, like, you, you literally working. you literally shooting a podcast right now while being comfortable. Just imagine, like, oh, hey, that's another thing. What's that's up? another thing. That's another thing. That's another, another thing for you guys, you know. So uh, I'm glad he said that. I didn't mean to cut him off, but if in 2021 you had goals of starting your social media career uh, journey, uh, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, podcasts, you know, yeah. websites, social media marketing, the works, Shopify, econ, you know, blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Start to, like he said to come back to what he touched on in the beginning. Many habits start taking a little bit of action, you know. Hey, watch a 30 minute YouTube video, cool, put it down, be comfy, chill for a little bit. If you think you could do a little bit more and you feel like you want to do a little bit more, pick it back up, watch another little bit, put it back down, yeah. enjoy the rest of your day, get some good sleep, go at it again tomorrow, forget the New Year's resolutions, just know that hey, you know. You wanted to start a podcast, just a little bit every day. Just keep just keep going. Let 2021, it doesn't have to just be about assets and financial freedom and worst case scenarios, you know. As long as you're taking some action, a little bit every day, it adds up, you know. Yeah, I definitely do. Yeah, I mean, I totally agree because them, the one little, like it's like playing chess, you know, that one move that you think, it's so minute, you know, it's like, oh, uh, you just moved it there or whatever, but you set yourself up for another move and you set yourself up for another move, you set yourself up for another move, you know? I mean, just like you opening up one door that can lead you into the building, you go into the building, it will be multiple doors, you know? I mean, just all you're doing is just you're trying to get yourself inside that building, you know? You want to, you know what I'm saying? If they ain't let you in, just... Not going, not going to build the next door. You know what I mean? Chill there. You know, there's, there's so many ways we could do something to be productive <clears throat> while still being comfortable. You know. And um, you know, one last thing, or well, one, you know, well, you know, one last thing I'd like to touch on also is that uh, for 2021, you know, and you know, and rolling into 2022, because I mean, everybody's seen how fast this year was. It was crazy, but it's fast, you know. Mm-hmm. Don't think 21 ain't going to be the same, you know. Um, oh, yeah. So just, you know, just try and be happy. And if you're happy where you are where you are right now, as in working or social media, you know, if you're happy working 16 hours in the day, just busting it out, grinding, and that makes you happy cool if your nine to five makes you happy cool you know enjoy that don't focus on other people's goals ambitions dreams what you see on tv or the internet don't let that influence your happiness and also but at the same time cover your worst case scenario because even if if you're single or you have especially especially if you have family members you know kids and loved ones yeah, set yourself up. It could just be something as if you love your nine to five, your nine to five, and you're good with that. Cool, you're happy. You're living a happy life. You know, you're coming home to your your kids, sports with them. Good, right? But at least go to bed knowing that hey, if you was to jump in a car going to work and you was to die, that was going to be your last day. At least your kids or your family was going to be taken care of. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy doing what you're doing. But at the same time, in the back of your mind, you're like, you know what? My safety net is there. My safety net got my family, you know? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, just to piggyback off you said, you know, I don't know how much time we've been going, but I know it's um, almost about time for the wrap-up. But I like what you said about the uh, 2020 went by fast, right? Mm. Think about this, bro. If 2020 went by fast while we was stuck while everybody was sitting at home. Whew. Just imagine how 2021 going to be once everybody started moving, once traveling becoming like a regular thing again, once 
You Yo. know, what I mean, the, I mean, I know they have enough vaccines. You know, I'm a, I'm a whole lot until it's mandatory, but that's just me. But <laughs> you know, but just imagine how 2021 gonna roll by quick. Like it's gonna be everything gonna start moving. People gonna start trying to get back at pace and all that. Like shoot. I know, right? Like, let's say they do hit these vaccines and and everybody is quote unquote good, right? And and everything opens yeah. up, and clubs and this and that, restaurants, everybody, but eating movie theaters, all the whole the, like, like man, this how it used to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's slowly getting like that now. You know, what I mean, they starting to open up spots, so and you know, like the end of the year started to go by a lot more quicker because you're not at home. But think about the times when we was home. Like, we couldn't yeah. go out. It was, like, lockdown or you had to, you know, it was, like, a lot of places closed, a lot of places that was closed, period, that wasn't open. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, them days went by fast, even though it seemed slow. Well, I mean, I, I know I got a lot done. So I, I put in some work in 2020, so it went by even faster for me. <laughs> it went by even faster, exactly. So it was just that we replaced... We replaced what we replaced what we wasn't doing to now replacing it with doing something now and make it go by quicker. And so like I know 2021 gonna be it's gonna be super fast now, man. Man, I can't I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see like that, like the end of 2021 when we back here in this chair again in this comfy chair. And we like, yeah. like damn what man, we here already? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 man. It's yeah, it's gonna be really one of the eye openers. You know what I mean? It's like I like to, like I told you before, I like to see it like as, and I'm doing a lot more this year than I was last year. You know what I mean? And if you just keep, if you're doing more than, if you're doing more the following year than you was the year before, I mean, obviously you moving, you moving up. You know. A lot of people just say, like, oh, you know, this person changed. You know, I'm like, I I like the people that change, you know. It's the people who don't change are the ones I'm concerned about. Like, why would you want to stay the same? Every you know? day, every year for... Every uh, year, you know. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, still have your same personality in some sense. Yeah, but, same yeah. Time, but you know, you you still want to change? Like, oh yeah, you know, Mike out there doing this now. Mike out there doing that. Man, he changing. Yeah. I'm like, well, I'm like, yeah, you're not. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you, you don't expect me to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you ain't seen 2020. Like, you must think you to be the same way. You know, like, all right, cool. Man, that's about 2020, but man, I'm gonna write him a change. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shoot, you gotta change something. <laughs> Nah, yeah, yeah. That, that that's good though. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't change the personality and your your core. You know, don't change to be yeah. somebody else, but change yeah. and grow as an individual. You know, financially, spiritually, physically. You know, yeah, you know, health health wise, all that good stuff. You know, you know. yeah, especially yeah, you wanna you wanna just be better. You know what I'm saying? But like you said, spirituality or whatever. You know, I mean, I'm not. I started thinking about doing some meditation. But I'm not doing the meditation, but I'm kind of like just hey. listening to work. Hey, was you was you thinking about meditation last year? Nah, man, no, no. There you go. But like at the same right? time, I'm doing like a. I guess at least you're thinking. thinking. At least you're thinking about it now. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, at least I'm thinking about it. Am I going to strap up some yoga pants and <laughs> go all out to the uh, the. the Downwards, backwards, <laughs> dog, whatever the thing. Nah, I ain't gonna do all that. <laughs> but <laughs> you know, maybe do some whoop saws in the morning and go on about my day. Yeah, man. Uh, so I mean, that, that was that was 2020, 2021, 2022 advice, you know, for everybody. Uh, just if you if you if you're here still, you know, just. Just be happy if whatever you're doing right now makes you happy. Cool. Keep doing that. You 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 won, you did it, you know, you found the secret sauce. Don't study other people because once you start letting the outside get in, that's gonna ruin your happiness because then you might you might want this or you might want that, but you're already happy, right? But yeah. at the same time, like we said, cover 
your your back, right? Cover your family. Make sure that your safety net is in place because anything can happen. You mm -hmm. cannot, I mean, people have seen it now. Like, I mean, true, a lot of people survived the COVID-19 stuff, but there was more deaths than, you know, other different things. It was, you know, a bunch of whole crazy stuff happening. So you, we can die. I can die. All of us can die. Let that sink in. And how is your loved ones going to be affected by that? Is a yeah. is, is the burden on them going to be like spiritually, mentally, and financially? Mm -hmm. Well, how many yeah. burdens do you want to put on them after you go? Because when you're gone, you're gone. They're the ones that yeah. got to deal with it. They do, they yeah. got to continue living. So be happy and cover your loved ones. Cover you know what I mean. Do what you can right now to cover your loved ones. Yeah, I agree with that, man. Yeah, that's some great advice. And uh, for your New Year's resolutions, people, and stuff like that, I'm going to leave y'all with a quote. Uh, goals without action, just a dream. Goals without action is just a dream. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, that was, hey, that was a closer right there, man, so... <laughs> Yes, sir. Well, this was Tomorrow's Kingdom. Kevin was saying. Michael Morica and um, hey, man, please take this. Nah, I'm say it. Yeah, say it. Say it for the people. Say it for the people. Nah, hey, man, we're not trying to change the way you talk, just trying to change what you talk about, man. That's all I got to say. Close to that. All right, bye. Peace. Uh, peace.